What's up guys? Welcome back to the captain's vlog. We're on a solo mission today. As you can tell, wearing my life preserver. Safety first. Not exactly solo. I do got a partner right up in front of me. So kind of buddy boat together, but alright, let's get right to it. Shoots!
I hope you guys liked that footage of us catching the tuna. I was on a solo mission, got lucky, got a nice wahoo, got in some tuna action, and that ship was super close. Luckily, everything was safe. I made it back in, and I got some fresh fish for you guys to cook up. So we got a nice piece of wahoo that we caught yesterday. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a New England style seafood chowder with some fresh wahoo. We got some mussels, some crabs, some shrimp. And what I did is my family and I, we had a nice dinner the other week where we made a nice crab boil. We had some, so much broth in that pot. So what I did was I didn't want to waste that broth and I saved it just for this chowder. So I'm gonna add that to the pot. We also have our ingredients laid out right here, our mise en place. What we do is we got our mirepoix, which will we start with our mirepoix. It's celery, onion, and carrot, very basic. And then of course we have our potatoes. We got some mussels that we saved from the last night, last week. And we got some nice broth and clams. And then of course our fresh wahoo. I'll show you guys how we do this right now. All right guys, so first things first, we're gonna start with what we call a roux. A roux is basically equal amounts of fat and flour. So we're doing one and a half cup of butter and one and a half cup of all-purpose flour. So you just want to have the butter melted down in the pot and you want to kind of, you don't want it too hot. It's a cup and a half of flour. And the goal here is to get like a blonde roux. So you want to have a nutty scent when, you, when you're when you cooking this. So you want to cook off all the flour. And when it starts to get that nutty scent, it's going to have a consistency of like thick peanut butter. Cook this down. I want to cook it down just a little bit because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the mirepoix to the roux and what that's going to do it's going to caramelize the mirepoix. All right so now that we have the roux in that consistency we're going to go ahead and add the mirepoix which is all of the onions, celery and carrots and we're going to cook these down until they're translucent or a little bit soft. At the same time the roux will continue its cooking and you're looking for like a very nutty scent. And now we're going to go ahead and add some broth. All right, so here's the tip, guys. When you're making a roux and you're making a soup, if you have a, the rule is if you have a hot roux, you gotta add a cold broth. Or if you have a cold roux, you gotta add a hot broth, so it's opposite. So it's hot to cold, cold to hot. You can't add a hot broth to a hot roux or else it'll clump. That's a good tip, so keep that in mind. All right, guys, so you have to constantly stir this thing and you wanna bring it to a full rolling boil and that's how you'll know you're at your thickest point. Take a look at this. So it may look really thick, but that's good. It's the flour that's cooking off. It's thickening the broth, but we're gonna also thin it with some half and half cream later on. So if it gets too thick, don't worry about that. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add my potatoes. Oh yeah, lots of potatoes. So you wanna have, give some time to cook down. And with chowder, like I said, you have to constantly stir so it doesn't burn. All right, so now the potatoes are cooked. Um, after constantly stirring, it's like you can't stop stirring because if you do, the bottom will burn and scorch the whole entire stock and I have a burnt flavored chowder. You don't want that. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our seafood last because this doesn't take long to cook. So why don't we add this fresh wahoo? We also got our clams, our clam juice this down. This all, all this will cook really fast. All right, so you're probably wondering why I haven't added salt yet. That's because the broth that we used to boil the crab had a ton of salt in it, so I didn't want to over season it. You can always, if you don't have that kind of broth, you can use clam broth or, you know, water or whatever, and you can just season as you go. But for me, I'm gonna season at the end just cause I know I don't want it to be over salted. So this will cook really fast. And then we're just going to go ahead and thin it out with some cream or half and half. You can use heavy cream if you like, but it's really filling. So I like to use half and half, half milk or half cream. It's more uh, easier to eat. All right guys, this is about it. I'm gonna season it up just a little bit more. Check it out. A little bit more. 
black pepper. And then we're going to season it up at the end with a little bit of Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Whatever it is. But this stuff's going in there, right? You guys tell me how to pronounce that. I don't know. A tablespoon or so. Then a splash of Tabasco. Or any kind of hot sauce. Let's give it a little spice. And that should be it right there. All right, so it's going to serve this guy up. So we're just going to kind of scoop it in this bowl right here. Get some little bit of everything, some wahoo, potato, potatoes. There's parsley to that. A little in there. And we'll serve it up with a couple of nice sourdough toast. Just like that. All right, moment of truth. Let's taste this real quick. Let's try and get a chunk of Wahoo. Mmm. Perfect. The Wahoo is like not overcooked, it's like perfectly timed. Very good. If you guys really like this recipe, I'll leave it down in the description below. It's a lot of steps, but I think it's worth it. I mean, I didn't waste the broth from last week. We got some fresh Wahoo, so I figured I'd put it all together. And, um, yeah, try it out. So let me know what you guys think. Leave leave a comment below. Mmm, very good. All right, I'm gonna go call my mother-in-law and see if she likes it. Mom, yeah. come and test it out. All right. She loves my cooking, so hopefully she I likes this. I love your food. Taste us. Is it good or what? It's so good. All right, I think we got approval, okay? All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hope you guys liked the video. If you guys want to see the, the recipe, it'll be right in the description below. She likes it. I'm going to serve it up to the rest of my family. She's going back for more. Got some sourdough bread while you're there. All right. Thanks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys on the next one.